Bob Pollock is here from the Penn State Extension, joining us this morning, as always, on a Friday. And you can call and ask Bob your questions about lawns and gardens and trees and flowers and all of those good things. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Wonderful. Yeah, that's it's good. Time of the year when people getting outside, looking around, seeing what they can do, or, and uh, and maybe getting a little bit impatient. I remember. I hope so. In past years, at the end of March, we were mowing grass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's no no sense that I'm going to be mowing grass yeah, anytime yeah. soon right now. No, although I saw somebody do that yesterday. Did you really? Uh-huh. What did it smell like? First mowing of grass of the year. So wonderful. I think they were mostly mowing brown stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cutting the tops off. So they don't they don't Maybe have... finishing things up from uh, last fall. Mm-hmm. They didn't, didn't get that last mowing in last fall. Uh-huh. Well, let's start on the lawn because uh, there are people that are saying, uh, okay, I've got bare spots out there. Of course, at this time of the year, you're going to have bare spots because the grass hasn't really taken off yet. But uh, no, if, it's... If, if you do have them, now's the time to get some seed down, right? It is, yeah. most definitely. And we've had some time this week to really, uh, you know, where it's been drier. It's been ideal. And uh, yeah, been good conditions. You get out there and scrape at that old stuff and mm-hmm. see, if, uh, see if that brown stuff is really dead or if it just was dormant and went brown. Yeah. Um, any spots that need to be taken care of, you can get those. And, and it's good to rake the old stuff out mm-hmm. so that you have soil there to work with. Um, you may need to add a little bit of soil. But just loosen the soil up uh, because the seed will germinate a lot better if it has some loose soil around it. Yeah, okay. So we need to have a good seed bed, mm-hmm. um, sow the seed, and cover it. And you can cover that. You can tamp it in a little bit. Uh, with the end of the rake, um, or just uh, compress the soil a little bit that you've loosened up. Mm-hmm. Just firm it up. Uh, okay. We're not trying to compact it. Uh, just firm it up so that it's nicely firm around the seed. Seed will be able to germinate quicker, take on moisture, swell up, and then germinate quicker if it has good contact with the mm-hmm. soil. So when we just toss it on top of hard soil, uh, maybe we rake off the dead stuff toss it on there and walk away. Um, some of that will germinate. A lot of it won't. Birds will like it, though. The birds will get it, or the wind will take it away. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Those seeds are very light. So just and, uh, and with seeds, we try not to cover them more than twice the diameter of the seed. So grass seed's pretty small. Okay. So we just, just need to put a coating over top. Just a thin layer. Yeah, because you can bury it too deep, mm-hmm. and then it won't. It'll rot. It won't germinate. Okay. All right. So that's something to consider. There are a lot of people that uh, throw straw on top of it as well. Yes. Yeah, and so you can, you can just use soil over top of it. Now, if you – and that'll work. As long as things are kept moist, that'll work well. Mm-hmm. It's – if we add the addition of mulch, whether it be straw, uh, mushroom manure um, – those things will, and then there's also mulches. Some of these uh, soil seed that come in bags, they already have a patch material in there uh, that just kind of swells up as it takes on moisture and becomes a cover over top of that seed. So there are patching mixtures that are mm-hmm. set up that way. And you can use that too. A lot of that just is um, uh, ground up newspaper. Like, yeah, ground up newspaper. Yeah. And then they might put some. Uh, additives in there that help it bind or yeah. stay moist uh, but anyhow that that will also work um, and that's kind of the trick that's where that you can help yourself mm-hmm. uh, by putting that little mulch layer on there because that helps keep the soil shaded uh, and the soil moist so that that seed can germinate yeah just gotta leave enough so that the moisture will get down through it we have a caller this morning good morning good morning uh yes i have I came back to one big mess. Moles. Moles have they've they've made some tunnels, have they? Oh, and it's all brown where they were. So do I have to plant grass there now or or how do I get rid of these things? Yeah, so if it's brown right in the area of where they may be tunneled, they may have lifted the soil up enough and disturbed it that maybe the roots of the grass died. Um, Take a rake. You can even grab some of that brown stuff with your hand and see if it's loose or if it's tight. If the root system's still there and the plant's attached to it, 
uh, it, it's going to stick there. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, if it's loosened up, if the roots are damaged, you might be able just to pull it right out. Um, or if there was something else going on, uh, because the, a couple of other things that could have happened because of all the wet weather we've had, uh, there's grass that has just died out. Okay. Um, and now it just... These are, you know, there are the tunnels, but um, w- will, it, will it come back? Or now, we're... now, and the first thing you can do, especially with moles, is just kind of firm that grass back down. Just walk kind over. of walk you over it. Or how do I... Yeah, you can just kind of pack it down. You can walk over it. Um, if you have a little roller or something, you can just roll over top of it um, that has a little bit of weight to it that will just kind of press that back in place. Um, and you can do that with a, uh, a hard rake. Um, if you, with the shorter tines, the tines that are about two inches long. Uh, okay. that, and if you take and hold it upright, north and south, and then use that just to go along and kind of tamp that soil and, and firm that back in place. That will, I would do that first before I'd go ripping things up. Okay. And, it, and there may be enough of the root system still there and in place that it'll, it'll take and start to grow again. Why are there so many? I've been here 50 some years, never had a mole in my yard. And this year they're everywhere in my yard. Why is it the, was it the wet weather or what? So you've got <laughs> healthy <laughs> grubs. Yeah, and so they've they've made um, volcano mounds of soil. Yes. Okay, and then plus the tunnels. All right. Yeah. Because sometimes we'll also have voles, um, which will run across the top of the ground and make a whole bunch of paths, and they'll do that under the snow. And then when the snow melts, we'll see all these trails in there. Uh, they're looking for food, so they may have been elsewhere, um, and it may have been too wet, and that, so they had to pick up and move and go to another place where they might find more earthworms um, because they eat insects as their primary uh, food. Uh, So they'll look for grubs, they'll look for earthworms, um, things like that. And and so if they can't find that in one spot, then they move to another. And they'll just keep doing that. Uh, So you can have them one year or not have them for 50 years, uh, and then all of a sudden they'll be there. So is there something you, I mean, when do you, like, treat for these things so you don't get, they seem to come in the winter, or? (laughs) Well, they're active all year around. Oh, okay. And so, So and one of the ways, so they can migrate. treat it anyway? (laughs) Yeah, well, it's a little challenging to treat them. Um, There are some products out there that'll, one of them is trapping them. Uh, They make spear-type traps that you set over their active runways, um, but you've got to know where those active runways are. And they can mine a lot of soil. They're very, very good diggers. Um, but they might come into your yard, and they might be gone by now. They may be at your neighbor's um, or somewhere else. Um, so just if you can get everything tamped down and then see if anything comes back. Okay. Um, and, and then spread out the soil where, those, where they've mounded it up. That's just what they've excavated out of those tunnels. Uh, do that first, and then see if anything, if any new tunnels appear. <clears throat> and if they do, then you know they're still around. They've got pellets um, you can put in there. Too. Yeah, there's there's pellets, and then they also have a, uh, a spine. It's a like a worm. They actually have worms, uh-huh. but they have an insecticide in them oh, that will work see. on. Yeah, it's not really an insecticide, but it's a rodenticide that will work. But they impregnate date that into worms um, and then when they eat the worm then they get a dose of the poison that's in the worm uh, so they have those because they eat worms <laughs> okay so those um there's some kind of electronic things do they not work i have never seen any scientific evidence that shows that those things work <laughs> okay <laughs> but you could be the first you never you know <laughs> okay all right thank Thanks. you for calling uh-huh <laughs> Seven fifty-five in the morning. I, I think a lot of times those they they move around too. So mm-hmm. you might have them; they'll make a mess for a while, but then they'll disappear. Mm-hmm. They'll go away because they're always they're no, kind of nomadic. They're always on a source mm-hmm. for food. They and will, we have a couple of minutes left. Yes, but a caller a week or so ago asked about cicadas when they come up. Of course, they're going to yep. come up as as larval in the larval yes. stage. One would think that uh, when the cicadas come up. Yeah. 
uh, it's going to be lunchtime again for moles and for skunks and for all of those. And, yes, uh, it people's, will be. People's yards are in for a yeah. rough 2019, aren't they? <laughs> they could be, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they'll emerge right up out of the soil. And, and, ten, and that'll usually be in late May. Uh-huh. And they'll be around for about a month. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they'll be on their way but by, by then, another see, 17. The moles will be so overweight and the skunks are yes. overweight from eating all those cicadas that they ought to be easy to catch. That's right. <laughs> They'll be slower. So go right ahead. <laughs> Easier to spear them. All right. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome. It Thank you. The Voice of Indiana <laughs> County, WCCSA 1160 and 101.1 FM.